Welcome back for chapter 25 of Because of Winn-Dixie, getting close to the end. I love this story. We heard the music before we even got to Gloria Dump's house. We heard it almost a block away. It was guitar playing and singing and clapping. I wonder what's going on, my father said. We walked up Gloria's sidewalk and around back, through her yard and into her kitchen. What we saw was Otis playing his guitar and Miss Franny and Gloria sitting there smiling and singing and Gloria holding Sweetie Pie on her lap. Amanda and Dunlap and Stevie were sitting on the kitchen floor, clapping along and having the best possible time. Even Amanda was smiling. I couldn't believe that they were so happy when Win Dixie was missing. We didn't find him. I shouted at them. The music stopped and Gloria Dump looked at me and said, child, we know you didn't find him. You didn't find him because he was right here all along. She took her cane and poked at something under her chair. Come on out of there, she said. There was a snuffle and a sigh. He's asleep, she said. He's plumb wore out. She poked around with her cane again, and when Dixie stood up from underneath her chair and yawned. When Dixie, I hollered. Dog, Gertrude squawked. When Dixie wagged his tail and showed me all his teeth and sneezed. I went pushing past everybody. I dropped to the floor and wrapped my arms around him. Where have you been? I asked him. He yawned again. How did you find him? I asked. Now there's a story, said Miss Franny. Gloria, why don't you tell it? Well, said Gloria Dump, we was all just sitting around waiting on you two, and after I convinced these Dewberry boys that I ain't no scary witch at all, full of spells and potions, she ain't no witch, Stevie said. He shook his bald head, and he looked kind of disappointed. I said Dunlap, she ain't. If she was, she would have turned us into toads by now, he grinned. I could have told you that she wasn't a witch. Witches don't exist, said Amanda. They are just myths. All right, now, said Gloria. What happened was we got through all them witchy things, and then Franny said, why don't we have a little music while we wait for you two to get back? So Otis played his guitar, and woo-wee, there ain't a song he don't know. And if he don't know it, he can pick it up right quick if you hum it to him. He has a gift. Gloria stopped and smiled it over at Otis, and he smiled back. He looked all lit up from the inside. Tell what happened, Sweetie Pie said. Tell about the dog. So, said Gloria, Franny and me, we started thinking about all these songs we knew from when we was girls. We got Otis to play them. We started singing them and teaching the words to those children. And then somebody sneezed, Sweetie Pie shouted. That's right, said Gloria. Somebody sneezed and it wasn't none of us. So we looked around, wondering who did, thinking maybe we got us a burglar in the house. We looked around and we didn't see nothing. So we started singing again. And sure enough, there was another big <gasps> chew. Sounded like it was coming from my bedroom. So I sent Otis in there and I said, Otis, go in there and see who's sneezing. So Otis went. And you know what we found? I shook my head. When Dixie, shouted Sweetie Pie, that dog of yours was all hid underneath my bed, squeezed under there like the world was about to end. But he was smiling like a fool every time he heard Otis played the guitar, smiling so hard he sneezed. My daddy laughed. It is true, Miss Franny said. It's the truth, said Stevie. Dunlap nodded and smiled right at me. So, Gloria Dump said. Otis played his guitar right to that dog and a little bit at a time when Dixie came creeping out from underneath the bed. He was covered in dust, said Amanda. He looked like a ghost, said Dunlap. Yeah, said Sweetie Pie, just like a ghost. Mm-hmm, said Gloria, looked like just a ghost. Anyway, the storm stopped after a while and your dog settled in under my chair and fell asleep. And that's where he's been ever since just waiting on you to come back and find him. When Dixie, I said, I hugged him so tight he wheezed. We were out of there whistling and calling for you and you were right here all along. Thank you, I said to everybody. Well, said Gloria Dunn, we didn't do nothing. We just sat here and waited and sang some songs. We all got to be good friends. Now, the paint, the punch ain't nothing but water and the egg salad sandwiches got tore up by the rain. You gotta eat them with the spoon if you want egg salad. 
but we got pickles to eat and litmus lozenges, and we still got a party going on. My daddy pulled out a kitchen chair and sat down. Otis, he said, do you know any hymns? I know some, said Otis. You hum it, said Miss Franny, nodding her head, and he can play it. So my daddy started humming and humming something, and Otis started picking it out on his guitar. And when Dixie wagged his tail and lay back down underneath Gloria's chair, I looked around the room at all the different faces, and I felt my heart swell up inside with pure happiness. I'll be back in a minute, I said. But they were all singing now and laughing, and when Dixie was snoring, so no one heard me. Hmm. Wonder what she's up to. That's the end of chapter 25. Chapter 26, the last chapter, is coming next.